everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tuesday craft day well before we get going I just want to hope that everyone watching had a wonderful holiday weekend Merry Christmas or happy holidays and I hope you all continue to enjoy I hope you had some good company if you had a chance I know some people had some travel issues but uh, most people I think probably got to where they wanted to go I hope you had a safe holiday. And now we look forward to another holiday. Friday, New Year's Eve. And the last day of 2021, and I don't think I'll miss it necessarily. We've had some good times and some bad times. And I think 2022 is going to be a better year. So today, to end up 2021... We're going to work on a 2022 project. We're going to work on a Valentine's wreath. And I am going to be using a roll of red mesh that I had left from Christmas. And that pretty Valentine's ribbon that I got uh, in my last craft outlet haul, which was the video just before this one. And it has some pretty hearts and whatever on it. So we're going to make... A Valentine bubble. We haven't done a bubble in a while, so I think it's time to do a nice Valentine's bubble with a pretty floppy bow. So I'm doing the intro upstairs uh, because the lighting is a little bit better, but we'll be going down to the wreath area and making a Valentine's bubble. Now, there will not be a video on Friday. Friday is New Year's Eve, but there will be a video on Sunday. So keep that in mind. And then, of course, we'll start regular videos again next week. So let me take you downstairs. We'll get busy. I'll get the overhead camera going, and we'll make a Valentine's bubble wreath. Back in just a bit. Hang in there. Okay, here we are. And I have a 14-inch Dollar Tree form. They were missing for a long time, and then when they came back again, I grabbed, I think, four or five of them. And I have some plain, sparkly red mesh. We all have plain red mesh around, probably. And so I'm going to create just a pretty simple bubble for Valentine's Day and then maybe in a week or so when we make some signs I want to make a St. Patrick's Day sign I'll make a sign that will go on this but today we're going to make just the bubble and a nice bow with the ribbon that we got the other day in the craft outlet hall so I'm going to start by going to a crossbar, and I'm just going to stick this mesh down through the hole here. I'm going right through the middle right at the moment. And we will just take a zip tie. go around get that nice and tight okay now I'm going to be using the middle two wires and I have cut 18 chenille stems which gives me 36 pieces which is generally speaking how many 
bubbles I will get. So I'm going to start by doing about a 10 inch bubble and I'm coming right back up to where I just put that one on and I'm going to go down around these middle two wires. Now I put my thumb on the top of it pushing it up towards the other one but pushing it down too and that gives me a better grip to twist. Okay. Now it's going to slide all around for a bit because it needs more filler. So we'll do another one. Now there's two rules of thought on bubbles. Some people make their bubbles fairly loose, sort of like this. Okay, I like to make mine really tight, 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 right up to the next one. In fact, what I will do now is take this one and then twist it around the one I just did. And that helps to keep it tight. Okay, make sure your open edges are down the bottom. And this is, I can already see, this is going to be pretty. I think red, red bubbles are really pretty. And there's all kinds of things you can add to it, although bubble wreaths don't really lend themselves to adding a lot of extra stuff because they take up the whole frame and you don't want to disrupt the bubble. Draw edges underneath. I bet you thought we weren't going to use red anymore. <laughs> when, of course, after we do this, before too long, we'll have red, white, and blue. <laughs> Just see, I think I want a little bit. There we go. Get a little bit better in the frame. We'll push it down with my thumb and twist them. And I give it several good twists. I get five. I'm going to put one more in this first section. <clears throat> so that's six in that section. Now you will not get six in every section. Pretty close to, but not all the way. Because it gets too full after a while. Now you can go back in and spread these out, although this, they're pretty good the way they are right now. And we'll move on to the next section. Now with this one, I'm going to go around the middle two. there. And I'm going to push it right up to that crossbar. And what I'm going to try to do is give it a few twists. And then I'm going to go around the crossbar.
and that will hold it up tight toward the crossbar. See, it's, it's not sliding so much. Making sure you're keeping the open edges underneath. Otherwise, <clears throat> you can't put your hands in it. Whoops. I pulled that right away. You can't put your hands in it to puff out the bubble. Pull it up tight, hold it down with your thumb, give it a twist, and I'm going to twist it to the one I just did. And you can see the back of this it looks pretty neat. And it's pretty easy to, to get your bubbles the same, and I will show you when I do the next one. And you pull it out, and you bring it back. It should be just about the same height, see, as the one there. And I'm going on to the next section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that means I got five on this second section, not six. Okay, I'm in the next section. I'm going to give it some twists. And I'm going to go around that frame. And that will hold it up tight. Pulling these right off as I do that. So, next week we will be storing away Christmas, and I hope I can show you some of that process.
and we will not have a video this Friday. That will be New Year's Eve. But we will have a video on Sunday. And Sunday, we're going to be working with some puff pastry. And probably making a, like a little snack thing, um, cheese straws. This is the last one I'm going to get in this section. So, what do you all do for New Year's Eve? Of course, when, in our younger days, we'd be out partying, like a lot of folks. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> but we have a routine of... Ordering, I'm halfway around now. We have a routine of ordering Chinese food. I think a lot of people do. And we'll eat and probably go to sleep by 8 o'clock. That's when I usually go to bed. But I have to get up several times at night. And usually one of them is around 10.30, 11 o'clock. I'm going to that crossbar again. And so if it's 10.30, 11 o'clock when I wake up, I'll just come out then and put on the New Year's show on TV. It's just another day, and I didn't get that one tight enough. I pulled it right off. Okay. This is really pretty, isn't it, huh? Again, I'm using the middle two wires. For the bubble. And the reason I like to cut those um, chenille stems, oh, because you want to have them cut anyway, so you can just reach over and grab one. But by cutting 18, I know I have 36 pieces, and it helps me. Let's see if I can push this up against another one. Um, it helps me remember how many bubbles I actually put on. Depending on if I have some left or not.
this mesh has like a shiny thread in it, which is nice. Pretty, huh? What a pretty bubble it's making. Well, we're moving on into the next to the last section here. Around the middle two, push it on up. Give it a couple of good twists. And I'm going around the bar. There we go. You have to be a little careful with these Dollar Tree wreath forms. Sometimes where the crossbars are, there's some sharp areas. I've, I've cut knuckles a few times on these. This one hasn't been too bad. I think the sign I'm going to make for this one will be uh, a candy kiss sign. A ki not a candy kiss, candy heart sign. The ones that say like be mine and all those. I've, I'm sure, I haven't been there yet, but I'm sure Dollar Tree is going to have... Um, some hearts. They must always have hearts out. Now this one, this wreath will look nice. Oh, I have several places I could use it. Um, indoors, I can always use it in my kitchen. Because it's not too big. It's a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, Outdoors, I probably use it either on my back door or on the lamp post because I need something that's bigger and bolder to go on my front door because they have a long driveway and you want it to be seen. Although this might be seen pretty well with, the, with just because of the color. We'll find a place when it's time. And I have a couple of more um, Valentine wreaths I want to make. And of course, if you used the uh, loose 
loose, sir. More loose, looser. Bubbles. You wouldn't have as many. Because they take up more room. One more in this section, and then I'm on to the last section. And it gets a little tight to work when you get towards the end. I really made a tight bubble there. I've got to work to get it out. Here we are. And I'm only going to get about three more bubbles out of this mesh, but I think it'll be enough because they get kind of tight and they can be moved a little bit. Push and twist, push and twist. Oh. This one is a staple one. Okay. Now I'm going to try to get one more in here. Whoops, just pulled that one right out. Do that again. I obviously didn't twist it tight enough. There we go. That one's not coming out. The last one is always a challenge because you've got the piece that you started with You've got a curly piece at the end here, <laughs> and they all 
want to interfere with you putting this bubble on. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece. This is all I have left right here. And I'm just going to pull it around to the back. Make a zip tie. Tie it on down. Now before I cut it, I'm just going to flip it over and make sure I've got good bubbles. I do. They're perfect. So now I will just take this cut it off and there's actually another little piece of this here so let me pull this through. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's make a ribbon. Now, if you remember, when I make bows for bubbles, I like them to be small and floppy-ish. You don't need, you don't want one of these big, huge bows there. So let me just cut this off here at the end. And... Let's measure. I like a nice long tail. So we're going to start right about here. And I'm just going to make And another nice long tail. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it didn't listen to me. I'm going to go around the middle. to the back. Oh, I grabbed one of these little short ones. I'm going to put a wire in.
This is just enough to give it a little definition of being a Valentine's wreath. I'm going right down between one of the bubbles. And actually through the same, around the same two I was doing before. There you go. Pretty, huh? I love it. I think it's so pretty. And these, the bow is just perfect. It's just what you like. Just a little bit of something, something. Let me take it and put you on the door, and we'll see what our Valentine's wreath looks like. Be back in just a second. There you go. A simple, pretty red bubble with a pretty floppy bow for Valentine's Day. Just the first <laughs> of many of the new season wreaths. I think it came out really pretty. And you know, if you really want to be conservative, you can always take the Valentine's ribbon off and put a Christmas one on next Christmas. But I think it looks so pretty this way. And it's nice to see something besides snowflakes and Christmas trees. So please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And we'll end off 2021 in a positive mode. Looking forward to next year. I'll be back in just a second. Hang in there. So there you go. There's our Valentine's bubble. I think it came out really nice. Uh, and it's just perfect for the holiday. You know, we can make big, elaborate, poofy wreaths. And we will probably do one of those. But we also, I also like the bubbles because they're not too big. They actually... I think, in many cases, could go between a storm door and a regular door for those of you who have storm doors. So I'm going to say I will see you again on Sunday. I hope you all have a happy New Year's Eve. Please stay safe. And everybody wish for a happy, healthy, blessed New Year. And until Sunday... Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Perfect time to subscribe. First thing in the new year, you'll see all of the new videos we'll have planned. And hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever I make a video. But until Sunday, everybody stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and play nice now. I'll see you. Love you. Bye-bye.